this robotic hand was 3D printed with synthetic bones, ligaments, and tendons. It was made using a new technology that researchers say enables efficient 3D printing of soft, elastic, and rigid materials all at once, opening up the possibility of creating delicate structures that are also more natural. So this is our 3D printed hand. According to ETH Zurich PhD student Thomas Buchner. We have sections of uh, soft tendons and capsules around the joint areas and tendons that are internally reinforced with a rigid material to have a load-bearing structure. And if I pull on one of these fishing line tendons, then I can actually move the finger. And what this printing technology enabled us is to have the soft parts be really springy, so low, have a low viscosity. So when I touch it, it actually springs back immediately. Their hand combines soft and rigid plastic and is part of the growing field of soft robotics, the development of robots that are safer for people to work with and are better at handling delicate items. The technology behind the hand comes from MIT spin-off Inkbit. Instead of just stacking layers on top of each other, the team added a laser scanner to the 3D printer. Each layer is checked for imperfections, and instead of fixing them, the printer makes an adjustment on the next layer. Researchers say the tech could one day be used to create custom prosthetics, and can imagine even adding in tissue, according to robotics professor Robert Katchman. Yeah, one of the things I'm particularly keen on is that we will start to go more into the tissue engineering with this technology and sort of provide the housing or you might say the scaffolding for cells to grow in. So maybe we can build whole new types of tissues and use them either for robotics, but also use them for medical purposes. The researchers published their findings in the journal Nature. And while they say real world use is still a long way off, it's a step that could lead towards more complex 3D printing projects. This printing process really enables us to have uh, quicker iterations and uh, a quicker process from an idea to a finished prototype that you can work with and understand what you have to still improve. So I don't see this hand on a human yet, but it helps us with the production process.